Give or Lose It Here and I played down a slowed down version of Hero de la Mente which is uh, my latest composition you guys seem to have uh, a fun to it so after your request I'm gonna start teaching it slowly slowly once again no tabs because I usually just make them with shapes of my hands and I memorize them like that it just really takes a long time to tap these things some of you have tapped some of my compositions you're welcome to share I mean that's why I make the videos as well to share this knowledge of music and let's get started now the guitar is connected with a piezo pickup that's what it's called in Greek it means press and that's how it's called worldwide piezo pickups not really the best it's like I don't know ten dollars or ten euros I think I got it and it's connected to an EMU sound card that's about 250 uh, euros and I have it also connected with a software called Live 8 and the effect is called Guitar JC just a side note for people who do want to make this kind of effect on the guitar now the guitar is also dropped a half a step lower so each note has a, a half a one semitone lower D sharp or you can call them BBs all of them if you like and let's get started with the first technique sorry for the long description. We start off by playing regular playing here and this is playing it with the left hand clearly. Now the side of the skin here I softly touch on the strings here not too much because then you get a too muted sound and I wanted to have a little buzzy sound. Yes, and the frets that I'm playing there, let's play it clean first using a bigado or something else. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then I went from four to five to seven. One more time. One fret more down on the eighth and come back. finger on the second string on the sixth fret, fifth fret, and then back there. If you do this now, here I tuck in my index finger like so and I use this as a guitar pick. I pluck with the skin that I told you before, softly there, and you can pick down and up if you have a pick. But I, I prefer down strokes all the way. One more time. Yes. And here comes the second part, which is again muted, but I'll play it clean first. finger goes down on the sixth fret and then lift up again up to the fourth and then the second time I play it the same then you go with the middle finger on the first string on the fifth fret fourth fret back to the three roll here on the sixth, fifth, fourth fret. Roll back down again. Now seventh fret on the first string. Fifth, four, roll back up on the second string again. Sixth, fifth, four. Then we go further one more down. I hope we could see that one. If I play it muted, it would sound like this. And right there when 
to put the ring finger to finish this sentence, I want to start up and down. And go a little bit faster. You see, all the way to the fourth, and then with the middle finger, I'm going to change to the third string on the fifth fret, then on the fourth. Fourth, second, first fret, then fourth string on the third fret. And I finish it with a little bit more sound to it with the middle finger on the second fret on the fourth string. Now I could be saying fret by fret, but I know this is an HD camera and you can clearly see what I'm doing. So I'll play one last time through, you guys you can follow it. I'll play it slow to medium and then I'll go for the next little melody parts. Second string on the ninth fret. So you want to count all the way one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Place your middle finger, your badass finger, on the tenth fret, and then also your pinky on the twelfth fret. And it's like pulling off softly. I play once the second string, any finger you use then, and pulling off. So I'm pulling off the pinky, then I'm pulling off the middle to go to that note. Then I place the index on the seventh fret on the first string, the ring finger on the ninth fret on the first string, and I slide to the fifth. And then I place the index on the fourth fret on the first string, and I slide to the first and release. But right when I pluck that first plug, and then I do everything else with the left hand. I also add a soft top bass here. It's really getting starting the situation right there. So the, this part, one more time slowly, should be. And it fades out. If, it's, if you play the bass too loud, you can just soften it down with your hand. Now, the next part, uh, you will have to know the triple picado. If you don't know it, you can try to apply ring finger, middle finger, index tremolo technique and playing it like And that keeps that effect. I prefer using the picado with a little back bend on the first joint makes it more exotic. And now the picado, that one I do, the triple one starts with the ring finger, then it goes to the left side, which is the index and the middle, the badass finger. So one, two, three, one, two, three. It takes a little bit getting used to it. One, two, three. I like to think every time that it's the right side, the left side, the center side, right side, left side, center side. So right, left, center, that really helps me enlarge what's really happening there. And we're on the first string, ring finger, and it rests on the next string, rests on the next string. And I like right this little point, you see this is your thumb, and it finishes here, this joint, and there's another joint right here, that just before the wrist, and there's a pointy little bone. Once you feel that, you, you want to try and rest that on the wood of the guitar, and let your thumb twist out in any uncomfortable position you like so you're comfortable. And the thumb should feel free because slowly, slowly, you're going to want to add. When I played it uh, the first time I showed you guys, I think I overdid the basses there. <laughs> so I'll show you the right way of doing it uh, and how many basses. We start off by plucking the top bass along with the ring finger, starting our 
little tremolo. Then we press down with the ring finger, any finger you like, on the fourth fret. And we do another triplet there with our triple picado. And then we go on the first fret on the first string and we add the bass again with the beginning of our triple picado. We lift up and we play open the first string again. Yes, so slowly it would be. Then we're gonna move the picado on the second string and we're gonna pluck uh, the second string while pressing on the fourth fret one more time, <laughs> but this time we're going to use the second bass, the middle bass, and with our triple picado, move up three frets to the first string on the second, uh, excuse me, first fret on the second string, no bass here, now we're going to lift up and play open the second string, and we're going to play the top bass once again, I hope I haven't lost you, place both fingers, the middle finger, the badass finger of the left hand on the second fret on the fifth string, your ring finger on the second fret of the third string, and those are the two you want to play. So your ring finger would be playing the third string, then your index, your middle, the triple, and you pluck this middle bass. One more time this sound here. Then Quickly let go of both fingers but add your index on the first fret of the third string and do that triple again picado on the third string but add the top bass with it. Back to the previous shape with the two fingers. Back to the previous shape with only the index and the top bass. And now we will add the ring finger on the third, excuse me, fourth string, that's the third bass from the top, and <clears throat> press down on the third fret, along with the bass, the triple picado happens on the second string. Then lift up your ring finger and just press down with your index on the second string on the first fret and pluck the open bass that you just played without pressing anywhere. Previous shape with the ring finger on the 3rd fret on the 4th string, open 2nd string, previous, now it's a little bit of a twist but don't worry, index on the 2nd fret on the 4th string, pinky or ring finger, I think pinky is easier, on the 2nd string on the 4th fret, plucking those two, then we're going to do a double pull off. We're going to stretch a little bit our pinky on the 4th fret, our index on the 1st fret, pluck that 4th fret and do a double pull off. So I'm pulling off the pinky to sound this first note here and then pulling this off and you want to add a bass also to switch it off. Wow, that was a long explanation. <laughs> Guys, just slowly slowly pause the video practice that one pattern pause the video practice the other pattern you'll be getting this down in no time but it does take time so i'll play one last time from uh, i think this pullings off here the second part you guys can play it with me i hope this angle is the best when i play the tremolo I'll turn the triple picado I'll turn the guitar here so you can see more to the right hand and here we go
twist of the mind, as the title suggests, Hero de la Mente. I hope you guys like it. Make sure you comment and rate. Some of you out there are messaging me that uh, you don't have a visa in your country to make a donation or to buy my book. It's available on Amazon. And if some of you still can't uh, afford to do so and you want to thank me, just click like, just share it or write a comment and uh, contact with me and realize that I really do help real human beings out there that enjoy the instrument and music as much as I do. So if you can't help in that way, there are many other ways. Thank you for your support and love, guys. Just a simple message can wake me up with a big smile. God bless and see you in my next video.